are having a drawing mod competition. And in every round, we go head to head in different drawing challenges. The winner gets to blow up the loser's house. So wait, people just draw things? That's boring. No, it's not, Milo, because everything we draw will come to life. Like how I drew this ugly thing on the page, and now there's a weirdo in front of me. Hey, that looks nothing like me. Sure, Milo. The first challenge is starting! You guys must draw a brand new mob never seen in Minecraft and make it come to life for a battle against each other! I have the best idea and I'm gonna go get started! No way! My idea is way better than yours! Now, every drawing comes from a place of inspiration and my inspiration is going to be tentacles. We're gonna draw a mob that has so many creepy tentacles, we won't even know what to do with them. If we just have tentacles and nothing at the end of them, that would be kind of boring. That would just look like an octopus. That wouldn't be a scary monster at all, and we'd totally lose the first round. And Milo does not need any more confidence. He's way too confident as it is, so we can't let him win this first one. If we make balls at the end of them, and hang on with me here. Now, I know this looks like a ninja star made out of coconuts, but Russ, me. We're gonna add something insane to the end of these. Draw the ones on the sides, but there still needs to be one big one in this giant middle space. So if we draw a big mouth with razor sharp teeth on the edges, we can totally add an eyeball inside it. That will be insanely scary, and Milo won't know what hit him. Mine is already looking so scary, Milo. Mine looks really epic, too. Mine has crazy eyes and so many teeth. Yeah. No way! Okay, Milo, are you ready for our drawings to come to life? I'm ready! Let the fight begin in three, two, one. Hey, I thought it came to life, but I don't see anything. Where could it have gone? Whoa! I think it worked! What even is this? Oh, this is terrifying! Look, it even has the four tentacles with the eyes at the end. Wow, that is a massive mouth with a huge eyeball in the middle. It totally worked. This is so freaky. Milo, what does yours look like? Chip, my monster is such a freak. He's totally going to destroy yours. No way. I'm going to come look at your drawing, Milo, in three, two, one. What is that? This monster looks so freaky. He's so crazy. And he has a knife. Holding a knife as well. And ew, where are his eyes? You don't want to know. I am so scared of this right now. And what? What is this drawing? It looks like a sick potato. No, it's my monster. How did that monster come out of a drawing so silly? I don't know. Whoa, the game must be really good at speaking stupidies. I can't wait. What? At least my monster has eyeballs. Yours is blind. Yeah, probably because your guy stole them from him. Uh, <laughs> look, Milo, they're moving around. I think they're going to fight soon. You're right. Oh, look, they're fighting. Oh, my gosh, my guy's going to win. No, I can't believe he won. That's not fair. That was so easy. I can't believe I won the first round. How? Ugh. My drawings are going to have to get a lot better if we want to beat Milo. Milo, the second challenge is starting. Oh my gosh, this one's going to be so good. I just know it. No way. For this round, you guys must draw your very own roller coaster and judge each other's drawings. Yes, I love roller coasters. This round is definitely my round. No way, this is my round. Your round was last round. And my round is every single one we do from this point on. No. Watch me win this! Not if I can do it first! Now, because I am Chip and orange is the best color ever, we obviously have to make our roller coaster orange. It's not even a question. But the only question is, how big do we make it? And also, what shape does it go in? I reckon if we have the starting zone here where everybody comes on, we'll draw a little line there. And we'll draw a little cue section for everybody to line up. Oh, this is awesome. Now all we have to do is draw a giant hill up and then a super intense drop all the way down. This looks just like an orange squiggly line, but 
I have a feeling it's going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, but first, we need to add minecarts. Otherwise, it won't even know this is a roller coaster. And we might just get a weird bit of concrete or an ugly house shaped like a weird banana. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Or we might just get a really goofy house shaped like a wizard hat. I do not want that at all. So let's complete our minecart drawing. And whoa, this looks really accurate already. Let's just add some wheels. And I think this is ready to go. Whoa, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. Look, it totally added our crazy tall drop to it. All the people that ride this are gonna go up the way. Hang on a minute. That part's broken. Let's fix that. There we go. I'm gonna throw the rail away because we don't care about the environment. We're too cool. And now people go up this crazy massive lift around the creepy precarious bend and down the biggest drop in any roller coaster I have ever seen. Hang on a minute. I think we forgot to draw an ending to the roller coaster. It kind of just stops in midair. That sounds really dangerous. And even though danger is my middle name, we need to make it a bit safer so that people can ride it again and again and again. Again. So this is going to be a normal roller coaster track, except for one big, big difference on this roller coaster track. We are going to add a ring of fire right through the middle that every single person riding the ride has to go right through if they want to beat our roller coaster. This is the ultimate roller coaster of fury. Now, this kind of just looks like a string inside a hula hoop. So we probably want to add some actual fire to it so it looks really real and the game knows exactly what we're talking about. Oh, goodness. I really hope this works. Whoa, it totally did work. Look, everyone riding this thing is going to go up this ramp and through this giant ring of fire. Hopefully it doesn't toast them on the way through because that would be really yucky. I do not want bird flavored toast. And then it leads them to this section, but we need to draw the next section here again. Now, because I'm so kind and generous, this next section can just be a little bit more tame than the previous ones. We do not want to cook our guests alive, or at least not too much. <laughs> Once we add this bit, it'll just be a simple, simple ramp leading up. But where does it lead up to? I know exactly where to make it go. Whoa, it even added poles for support. That's such a good idea. I can't believe I didn't think of that. And wow, it even drew a part of the roller coaster where you go flying off the side. That is so exciting. But what? It still doesn't end. Ugh, we need to do some more parts. This next bit is going to be really, really bumpy. It's going to go up, then down, and then up again. We're going to try and shake the rider off of this coaster. They're not going to like it, but hey, they're not meant to like it. They're meant to scream. Then we'll just make support beams so that it doesn't fall over on us. That would be really bad. All right, I think it's ready. Boom. Whoa, this part looks really nice. I don't even know why. It kind of looks like a pyramid with a giant red eye at the top. Hey, and there's a second one here as well. What? Oh, goodness. This roller coaster track is broken as well. Hopefully, nobody gets stuck riding on this thing. That would be so crazy. But hang on a second. There's only one part left. We have to do our very best to make this thing the most insane crazy part of the roller coaster we have ever drawn. Now we have giant drops and loops of fire, but this part is going to be perfectly flat. And I know that sounds boring. I know every single one of these cubes is going to launch its very own array of fireworks. This is incredible. And I think we're done here. Hopefully this looks perfect. And I hope it links up to the beginning. Otherwise we might be disqualified. It worked. It really worked. Oh, this is so exciting. I cannot wait to see Milo's reaction when he goes through this thing. If he even manages to make it to the end. Milo, I finished my roller coaster. Can I see yours now? Here it is. What? What is this drawing? This is so silly. And why are their faces in the sky? These look so derpy. And this roller coaster looks like a weird jelly. Yeah. Cool. And wait a minute, what's that down there? Am I being eaten alive by strawberry flavored snakes? No, it's blood. Whoa, what's blood? Okay, Milo, you are kind of being really creepy. I'm a bit scared to ride this roller coaster now. Do you promise I won't bleed on it? Yeah, I definitely promise. Ugh, I don't trust you at all. Please ride my costa. Do you mean my coaster? Yeah. I'm not very good at spelling. Well, your teachers called me about it. What is this? No chip allowed. Do you mean no chip allowed? Yeah, I forgot how to spell your name. Hey, 
way. That's so offensive. It's right above my head. Oh, yeah. Have a look up Oh, you're so embarrassing, but okay, I guess I'll get in this roller coaster. I'm Yay! a little scared. Yay! All right, I'm gonna ride your roller coaster in three, two, one. I'm gonna win this competition for sure. Whoa, what do these signs say? Milo, I can't even read them. You did not think this through. And whoa, there's a big flyman. Oh no. Oh, that was scary. Milo, that was a horrible roller coaster. What do you mean? I thought it was really good. It was so bumpy. I think I got my back pulled in half. Whatever. Did you see my signs? No, I didn't. You wrote them in a place where I was going way too fast. This one says moo. Ha ha. What? Moo? Like a cow? Yeah, don't you think the cows are scary? Um, no, Milo. Why are you scared of cows? Uh, one time, one came and jumped on my bed while I was sleeping. That's, that's terrifying. I'm kind of scared of cows too now. Good. This next one says, if you chip, you stink. <gasps> Wait, are you saying if you're chip, you're stinky? Yeah, pretty much. You're really stinky. Hey, I smell beautiful. Yeah, in your dreams. Oopsie, you will die, lol. Milo, did you just try to tell me that I'm going to die? Yeah, maybe, lol. I don't think I'm going to die, but Milo, once you've ridden my roller coaster, I think you might. What is your Oh, yeah, Milo. This is the ultimate chip coaster of doom. Oh, my gosh. It looks terrifying. That's right. I built every single part to be as scary as possible. Please don't make me go on a chip. I will, Milo. Otherwise, you can't judge my challenge and I will win. Oh, I can't have you winning. All right. I'm going to judge your stinky roller coaster. <laughs> this is so exciting. All right, Milo, I'll push the button for you since you're too much of a scaredy cat. Fine. Three, two, one. Ah, I'm going so fast already. Whoa, this is crazy. I did not realize how high up I built this thing. Oh, is that burning? Bring a Oh, that's just something I added. How crispy are you feeling, Milo? I'm really crispy. Yeah, you just have to get to the end. And now the second drop. I can't believe I'm falling. Chip, this is my worst nightmare. And now the fireworks. <laughs> so how did that make you feel, Milo? Not good. <laughs> it made you go crazy because of how awesome and scary it was. Well, I guess you won this round. And I think I need to go uh, lie down. Ah, <laughs> this is awesome. I totally won that round. All we have to do now is win the final few rounds, and we get to blow up Milo's house. Speaking of our houses, Milo, look where we are now. Chip, it's not time to blow them up yet. We can't do it. No, Milo, we're not going to blow them up yet. This is where the third challenge is. See? It's starting now. Yeah, of course, Milo. For this round, you must prank your brother by drawing something gross or terrible on their house. <laughs> Your house is already gross and terrible, so all I have to do is make it even yuckier. No way! Look at your moldy cookie! I don't even have to do anything to your house! Haha, <laughs> then don't even touch it, and all we get to do is watch me draw and win. No way! I'm definitely gonna win this round! Not if I can beat you! First, we need to draw the shape of Milo's house, so the game knows exactly what we're trying to do. Okay, this looks like Milo's house. It also looks like a really weird hippie jelly bean. We should be good. Let's just add some more yellow over here. Another one over there. Okay, this is looking really good so far. We'll just draw Milo's little egg towers. Wow, this looks amazing. This one can be kind of messy because we're going to destroy it anyway. And Milo's house has all these speckled egg shapes on it. So this looks just like it. Whoa. Now, all we have to do is totally ruin everything. Now, Milo's house looks really need in this but i think eggs shouldn't be left out this long in the wild i think it probably would start to go moldy over time just like this let's add mold all over his eggy house that'll teach him not to use a refrigerator like a normal person okay this looks awesome his house is still pretty intact if we draw boards covering all his windows it'll look so gross and run down he won't ever want to come back here 
This looks perfect. But wait, it still doesn't look gross enough. I think we need to add spooky spider webs to the side. This looks so bad. I can't wait to see how disgusting it looks once we make it real. And before I forget, let's draw some zombies down the bottom just so that there's someone living inside of Milo's house once he decides to move out because of how gross it is. All right, I can't wait to see what this really looks like. Whoa, it looks just like the drawing. We're getting better and better at this. And oh my goodness, look at all the zombies inside. Our drawing really came to life. Milo, Milo, I'm done with your house. <laughs> What? Ew, you covered my cookie in slime, added chickens, and drew lava all around? Your house is ruined forever! Oh my gosh, but wait, the inside is totally perfect. Yay! Dang it, I forgot to draw the inside! <laughs> I want to see what your drawing looks like. It probably looks ridiculous. Oh, wow. Milo, what even is this? Is that a potato? It's not a potato! It's your stupid Wait, why do you keep drawing things that look like potatoes? The reason potatoes are not the same. It's the only thing I know how to draw. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, Milo, I do not think you're going to like what I did to your house. Come see. Oh, no, what is this? This is your rotten egg. You left your egg house outside for like years. <laughs> Milo, you put this on yourself. You should always keep eggs in the fridge. It's not safe. And why are there cobwebs and zombies everywhere? Well, because it's so moldy, you had to move out, and the spiders and zombies moved right in. Chip, this is disgusting. I can't believe you did this to my house. Uh -huh, so I guess you could say I totally won this round. Sure, you won this round. There's still one round left to go, and I think I'm going to beat you in that one, too. But don't worry, Milo. I won't blow up your house too much. It's not fair. I can't believe you won. Milo, are you seriously crying about this? It's so unfair. I tried my best, and all you said was that I made potatoes. Milo, that's because you keep drawing potatoes. I hate you. Such a baby. Uh, oh, fine. Okay. We can have one more round. Really? Yes. And whoever wins this round wins the whole competition. What are we going to do, Chip? We are going to draw each other's skins to see who can turn the other person into the scariest monster. Yes, this is such a fun idea. I'll definitely win this one. No way. You already kind of look like a weird monster, so I'm not going to have much trouble at all. Hey. Milo is kind of right, actually. He does look just like a normal birdie. For now, I know exactly what we can do. We're going to turn Milo into a disgusting, hideous monster. And we're just going to do it by mixing up his whole body. Hey, Chip, I'm going to make you look like a freak. What? Hey, that's really rude. Don't you dare. Ah, uh, this is the best drawing I've done all day. Wow, Milo, the bar's not very high. All you've done so far is draw potatoes, so that's not very difficult to do. That's mean! I didn't draw potatoes! Hey, stop being a baby. I said we could do this last round, and now we're here. Okay, well, this is gonna be epic! Well, if Milo's is epic, we just need to make ours even better. Now, normally, Milo's face is all the right way up, even though it looks really weird, but not for long. We are gonna turn his entire body upside down, and it's gonna freak him out. See how we've already drawn his legs on his head? We're gonna draw his face right in the middle of his body, next to his butt. Ew, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Now, if we just draw his eyes in the middle, it still looks kinda normal. That's really weird. We can draw a big mouth instead of Milo's normal beak. Ah, this is so good. Now, we just have to add some really weird, freaky teeth to it. Oh, this is so embarrassing. If I was Milo, I would be so upset at me right now. And now let's give Milo some big, ugly eyebrows and add some more feet on the top of his hands. Milo is not going to know what hit him. All right, Milo, are you ready to activate your drawing? I'm ready. Let's do it at the same time in three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, my gosh. It worked. Jim, you look so Really? I think I look normal. Oh my gosh, I do look freaky. I'm a cyclops. You look like the eyeball monster from the magnetic. What? Ew, why would you draw me like that? This is hideous. Wait, what do I look like? You look 
look like this. <laughs> And wait, can you jump really high? No! I have superpowers now! Whoa, and I have super strength and night vision! What? That's so epic, Jim! Wow, I kind of like being a creepy monster. Well, I guess we both tied! I guess you're right. That means we can both blow up each other's houses. Ah, yeah! This is what you get for making me look like such a freak! I didn't have to draw for that to happen. You look like that anyway. <laughs> I'm blowing your house up! Whoa! I can't believe we just did that trip! Yeah! You can subscribe to come on more of our crazy adventures! And make sure you like the video if you thought it was awesome! Yeah!